Greenwood Stock Trading wants to show you how to make money in the stock market. Be a successful investor and make money from anywhere in the world you choose to be. Travel more. Spend more time with friends and family. Or simply, just enjoy the freedom to have fun. What are you waiting on? Join us today on your successful options trading journey. All right, man. I got some interesting rumor here, man. I heard that uh, <laughs> that Ugas wasn't even the second option to fill in for Pacquiao, right? Which it was interesting to see what why what what would have happened because uh, once you look at it, Ugas said unless they was gonna take the belt away, strip Ugas of the belt and give it to and put it on the line for Keith and Pacquiao too. Um, you know, Earl Spence still it still would have been the same itinerary, right? So um, I got some intel. So I'll call it a rumor. Um, some good detail says so kind of went through uh, the progressions of how Ugas ended up getting the fight. Obviously, the natural progression was that Ugas was, I think he was already on the card. And the natural progression is he had the belt, you know what I'm saying? And oh, check out the box from place, what's the way playlist, by the way. Check out the link tree link in the description. Take it everywhere I'm creating content on from Twitch to Instagram, where I'm on social media, it don't matter. Hit it everywhere I am, it's there besides Facebook, which I'm looking to sell my Facebook like page. You want to buy. I have like over 11,000 likes, right? So um, apparently they went through the progression. You know, they Sean Porter didn't get the fight because didn't step in when Spence got in. We talking about when Spence got injured. He didn't step in because Pacquiao and him used to spar and he didn't like Pacquiao style. Danny Garcia was coming off a loss to Spence. That didn't make no no sense. And you know, then also um the first choice to replace Spence was Keith Thurman. And it wasn't that Keith Thurman wasn't in shape to take the fight, neither. The, the rumor is Pacquiao didn't want to give Keith Thurman a rematch. That was the rumor. So, you know, I mean, hey, it is what it is. You know, and they tried to make Keith Thurman versus Pacquiao. And obviously that probably would have kept more asses in the seats than people mind, but Keith Thurman just only did 30K in Vegas. So Keith Thurman's name just as good as Ugas' name at this point. It's like, that's what it is. It's like, you know, like, you remember on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas when CJ came back, he had to build his rep back up with, in the streets. That's pretty much what this is, you know? And so, you know, he approved Ugas, and he approved his ass whooping. At least he would have, you know, with Pacquiao scared to rematch Keith Thurman? I don't think so. You know, he fought Marquez a few times, but but Thurman figured him out down the stretch. But, you know, when Thurman figured, figured him out, you know what I'm saying, uh, when Thurman figured him out, uh, I think Pacquiao knew he, he pretty much was probably going to pick up where he could left off because he really didn't have an advantage as far as activity. You know, he didn't have an advantage as far as activity. So that's the problem. Like, you know, they both was inactive, you know, and he probably thought Ugas was a sweet lick. And my thing is this, bro, uh, at least you would have knew Thurman. Least, you know, at least you know, oh guys, that was a you know, that was a bad uh, that was that was a bad choice. Well, cute with that Cuban fighter, I mean, I think you know, oh guys, just a dude that can fight and people think switch. Uh, you know, I think he he the people that he people think he's uh, sweet, you know, got a basketball court, you know, don't don't uh. Don't look to, don't like he jumped the high, so don't don't look athletic and you know what I'm saying? He don't look that look that way, but when you get in there, he can bang. <laughs> he can he can bang. So he picked Ugas. And Ugas made it look easy despite the scores looking close. Ugas made it look easy. Ugas made it look too easy. So, you know, apparently he, pa he passed down the uh, Keith Thurman rematch to get beat on by Ugas. You know, would the money been any different? Uh, according to Keith Thurman pay-per-view sales, it wouldn't. Real talk. You know, but, you know, he was getting injured out about August 10th. So, 
Keith Thurman, I don't know if they would have came. I don't know we don't title on the line. So Keith probably would have came in at a catchaway, but Thur Ugas was the natural progression because he was already uh in shape. So it's messed up, you know. But Ugas got the opportunity and you can't take it away from him. You can't take it away from him, man. Uh be Pacquiao up. And they was trying to do Thurman. Pacquiao said no. Nah. And Ugas was the next call. And it was made sense. It was a, a title on the line. And he was already on the car. I forget who he was about to fight. So Pacquiao was like, man, look at these easy pickings right here. Pacquiao, like, look at this right here. You can't hit hard. You know, Pacquiao, I don't even know Pacquiao fought a Cuban before. No. I don't even know if he fought a Cuban before. But now you can pretty much say he did everything. Uh, now you can say he did pretty much everything on the sun in boxing. You know, but, uh, you know, it was unfortunate. But Danny Garcia, I guess he didn't make it. But that's why you got to stay ready, bro. In these COVID areas, man, even if you ain't on the car, you got to stay ready. You got to stay ready. And that's the thing about it. You got to stay ready. Remember that all of these fighters, man, you got to stay ready, bro. That's the number one thing. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm going to keep Thurman no longer a ticket puller. Maybe, you know, Pacquiao fight could have boosted him up, but then... If Pacquiao, I mean, I mean, Keith Thurman looked too good in his rematch and his comeback neither. Look, if Pacquiao had beat Thurman, if he would have beat Thurman, then Spence would have just got the third belt. Said, you know, he had to need to fight Crawford to go back for the ring belt. You know, also you can look at it like what if Earl turned around and fought Pacquiao, he got the ring belt. Most people think like Metro, you know, he would have got up out of there. He would have moved up. So, I, I mean, you know, what is the plan? I mean, you know, if you fought Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, and he beat Pacquiao out the eye injury, we would be getting answers about Crawford. You know, or would he wait for Keith Thurman? Who knows? But they gave Keith Thurman a call to fight Pacquiao first. And Keith was like, I'm ready to suck on this fucking touch. Allegedly. And he was ready to step in there. He was ready to step in there. He was ready to step in there and, and fight. And Pacquiao said no. And you know, it's a process. You know, he probably had a sign of final say so on this on this matchmaking of, of opponents that saw it here, but that was bad. You know, what was Ugas activity like at that point? Let me see. You know. Ugas said just fought in uh my bad. Ugas said uh hadn't fought in a year, almost a year to that date. So maybe that's what he was looking at, but you know, the Thurman and Pacquiao rematch, huh? it probably would have did better numbers. Probably would have did what it did the first time. Let me do what they do the first time. Let's see. They do about four or five, 500. They say on the nose. They was trying to get that five back. It was too, it was too late to try to get six, seven, eight. They should have went on a rematch. But, you know, Pacquiao, you know. He, he had the right to fight Thurman and not to fight Thurman, to rematch Thurman and not to fight rematch Thurman. But, you know, I thought it was an interesting little, you know, little, little tidbit that uh, Thurman had got the call first. I thought it was interesting that he might get another, he might get an opportunity to, uh, to fight Pacquiao again, but Lugas got it. And now Lugas suspense going to happen. What we bought a, uh, Month, month, 10 days out, something like that, bro. So we can get close to it and we get the answers that we're looking for in due time. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But um, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Um, uh, check out the boxing was a well to playlist. You can find me on everyone's social media. If you hit the link to your link in the description, want to make a financial donation, cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, memo CJ Good 313. 
PayPal link in the description. Uh, all that still appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think about this. But you know, uh, April gonna heat up in boxing. Um, so March is kind of cold. I think the next best fight this month. Need some OT stuff. The next best fight this month, I think it is uh, Tim Zoo versus Terrell Gouche, in my opinion. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Let's see if we get to the schedule. Oh, mm, mm. that already happened. That already happened. Uh, next Saturday, the zone, Lee Woods, McCollin. Uh, that's pretty much off the networks. The 19th, Virgil Ortiz, Michael McKissin, Edwin Belanga, Steve Rose, Sonny Edwards, Mohammed Wiesam, Wasai, Dubai. They don't have a network, so don't worry about it. Kingo Martinez, Josh Warren, on the zone in 26. Uh -oh, that's in Russia. I don't know. And then Tim Zoo is fighting, I think, on the 26th, too, versus Terrell Boucher. So it's pretty much it for March. Nothing, nothing important. Oh, Ryan come back April 9th, too. So Ryan come back April 9th. This is, April 9th is going to be a great day for boxing, you know, for everybody. Ryan Garcia, Mango Tago, Gennady Golovkin, Murata, two fights on his own. Also, you got Erickson Luba taking Fondor, Doris, uh, Showtime, along with Jerron Ennis fighting Custio Clayton for the mandatory rights with IBF to Earl Spence have. Tony Harrison versus Sergio Garcia. Good day of boxing, but I appreciate the love and support. Peace.